Hello and welcome to another educational video from EGIS Associates. In this video we're going to be talking about how do we add more symbology styles to ArcGIS Pro. When you first install ArcGIS Pro it comes with a very limited number of styles. This was intentional by Esri for a couple of reasons. First, overall improved performance. Anybody that's used the older ArcMap knows how long it takes for ArcMap to get started. And one of the reasons for that is the number of symbology styles that it loads in at the beginning. Many of these you don't ever, ever use. So with Arc Pro, it doesn't do that. It loads a very limited set of symbol styles for you to choose from. This includes your favorites. ArcGIS 2D, ArcGIS 3D, ArcGIS Colors, and the Color Brewer Schemes. That's all it loads. It doesn't load all of the others like you do in ArcMap, like Crime Analysis, uh, Water, Wastewater, other utilities, and so on. Just that very limited number. And, and that really helps keep Arc Pro uh, performing well. The other reason Esri's chosen to do this is they've picked styles that are optimized for web publishing. One of the key benefits of ArcGIS Pro is its integration with ArcGIS Online and Portal for ArcGIS. These tools allow you to publish web services, web maps, and feature services that you can then share with others so that they can access that information via web applications, mobile applications, and, and so on. And so these are the styles that work best for that. But you're not just limited to those. So for those of us that do create paper maps still or want a higher level of cartographic output, you can add more styles to your projects in ArcGIS Pro. And there's a few ways to do that. Uh, you can add additional system styles. There are some that, that don't automatically get turned on or automatically loaded that are included when you install the software. So you can turn those on or make them active within your project. You can also import those styles that you have in ArcMap. So if you have styles that you are currently using in your map documents for ArcMap, you can import those into your projects in ArcGIS Pro. There are also a bunch of styles that Esri's published through ArcGIS Online that you can connect to and bring in to your projects as well. Uh, you can publish styles to the web, and many people have done this, and you can also download those and bring them in. And lastly, you can create your own styles. You can create custom styles. So just like you could in, in ArcMap, you can do that same thing in ArcGIS Pro. So let's go take a quick look. How do we actually do this in, in Arc Pro? So we'll go jump in here to a quick demonstration and show you a, a few of these methods and how we get that into to Arc Pro. Okay, so you can see now here we're in ArcGIS Pro into, into a project. And over here in the catalog uh, pane, you can see the default styles that get loaded into any project, the favorites, the ArcGIS 2D, ArcGIS 3D, ArcGIS Colors, and the Color Brewer Schemes. So if we want to add more of the system styles that come pre-installed with the application, uh, a couple of ways we can, can do that. First, if you're on the Insert tab up here in the ribbon you can see that you've got a styles group here so I can go add and add a system style do it that way or in the catalog pane I can simply right click on the styles go add and choose add system styles either way works it, it does the same thing so you can see the system styles here I can expand the 2D so there's the ArcGIS 2D that we see over here can go ahead and add any of these others so if we want to add icon points and push pins we can add that into our project uh, same here if we expand the 3d you can see all the 3d styles that are available that we can turn on if we wish to use those and then colors and color schemes right so we can choose the various color schemes there's the cymk versus the rgb uh, again these are all styles that come preloaded within ArcGIS Pro. Okay, so click OK to that, and so you can see the ones that I've, I've added. So now if I go and I do want to change, say, the symbology for the light poles here, I go to the Appearance tab, click Symbology up here. It opens my Symbology pane here, 
at which point I can then begin adjusting those. And you can see the various additional symbology, symbology sets that it has added here for me to choose from. And there's the icon points. So there's the push pins I've added. So that's how we add existing system styles into a, a project. What happens if we want to, say, import some styles from ArcMap? Well, again, I go over here to Insert, and there's my styles. Uh, I can choose Import. I can also right-click on the styles in the Catalog pane and go Import. Either way works. Uh, it does the same thing, so I click Import Style. It opens the Import Style dialog. And then I can navigate to where my styles are for ArcMap. For those that aren't sure where that is, uh, usually it's going to be on your C drive. So go over here to this panel in the window on the left side. Go to my C drive. Go to my program files x86. There's ArcGIS. I'm going to click on it. Choose the version of Arc Desktop I'm currently running, which is 10.6. And then I'm going to scroll down to the Styles folder. And here are all of the styles that you have in ArcMap. So again, you select the one you want to import. Say I want to bring in the water wastewater. So I click OK to that. And now you can see that the water wastewater style is now available in my project. So very easy to import those existing styles from, from ArcMap. The other way to do it is through your portal, uh, your ArcGIS Online connection. If you go over to the third button at the top that says All Portal, you do a search on StyleX here. Then you can see all of these that are published directly to ArcGIS Online. All these existing styles that Esri has put out. You can see there's a, a bunch of them. Here. So if you wanted to say you're working for a local government, so here's the local government pro style. I select it, right click and add style. Uh, I'd already done this previously, so yes, I'm going to overwrite it. And then when it gets done, it's going to download that style from ArcGIS Online and add it here. It will appear in just a moment. Okay, it's downloaded it. It's now asking me if I want to upgrade the, the style. Uh, because it was originally created in an older version of, of Arc Pro, so sure, I'll upgrade it. And now if I go back to my project, you can see that it has now been added as a style for uh, me to use. So very easy to do. The other way to do it is to download from a website. So I go here, this is one that Esri publishes, so esri-styles.maps.arcgis.com slash home. This takes us to this web page. And so from here, you can see a bunch of the various styles that are available here. So if I wanted to download um, mining styles, I can click it and you can see that it's downloaded that uh, file. And then I can go back here to Arc Pro. Right click, I'm going to add a style, navigate to the style I just downloaded. There it is. There's the mining style I have downloaded and click OK. Again, it asked me to upgrade. Sure. And there you go. You can see there's the mining style been, has been added to my project. So that's how we, we add these. Of course, we save the project. All of those will still be connected. Uh, one of the questions that I have been asked is, well, what if I want to always use those styles in new projects? How do I have those automatically show up there? Well, the easiest way to, to do that is to create a project template. So go ahead and set up the styles you want to have access to, and then go up here to share and go to project template, right? So this allows you to create a project template that you can then use to create any new future projects that would then have these styles 
automatically included uh, in there with them. So you'd want to create that project template. And then as you create new projects, just select the template and it will load those styles into any of the new projects you create. So that's the, the easiest way to ensure that those um, styles continue to be part of any future uh, projects that you create. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to add these new styles to make them available once they're available. Uh, of course, then you can begin using them in your projects to set up your layer symbology, right? So, you know, again, here you see the the parks, the cemetery style, all coming from some of the ones we've added, the water, wastewater, there's the local government, so press areas, uh, so on here with that. So now those styles will be available to you. Well, I hope you found that helpful and will allow you to, to produce even better looking maps in ArcGIS Pro. Remember, if you do need any assistance getting your team up to speed with Arc Pro or you want assistance migrating to Arc Pro or whatnot, please feel free to, to give us a call. Uh, we're here to help you really consume that power of place and really utilize uh, GIS technology to its its full capability. Remember, we provide a host of GIS related services from enterprise implementation and migrations, uh, system integration, application development, strategic planning, needs assessment, uh, rent -a tech services, and of course, training and support. So uh, please reach out to us. You can get to us at www.egisassociates.com or give us a call at 678-710-9710. And of course, you can email us at info at egisassociates.com and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. If you did find this video helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel. We're, we're almost at 1,000 subscribers. I think last time I checked, we were at 995. Be really great to top that 1,000 mark. So with that, hope you all have a, a great rest of your day, and we'll see you next time.